For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how to do this, which is create horizontal progress bars right inside of CircuitPython using the progress bar library. It couldn't be easier, and it's a really great effect, really useful. And here's how you do it. From Adafruit progress bar dot progress bar, import horizontal progress bar. Then we set up our display in the usual way. In this case, I'm, I happen to be using a Pi portal, so I can use display I.O. And then I am creating a display I.O. group. Inside of it, here is the key thing. H underscore progress underscore bar is the name I'm giving to the progress bar object. And the way we set this up is horizontal progress bar. And then we set up the position on screen. So X, Y position, I've got 10 pixels over and 90 down. And this is from the upper left corner of the progress bar. And then the width and height, I'm making it just about the width of the screen minus 20. So I'm just sucking it in a little margin. And then the height of it, I'm making it as 24. It's easy to change. Then I'm using some predefined colors here for the outline, the background and the fill color the size of the border, if there's a margin or not, the direction it goes. These are the defaults to go from left to right, but we can swap that right to left. And then a starting value I have it set at zero. I add that to the display group, and then during my main loop, I'm just iterating in this case through a range from zero to 101. And every time we iterate, we increase the progress bar dot value. So it starts off at zero, makes its way up to 100. And when you increment that value, it draws the graphic for you. You can see it's nice and smooth and fast. I have a little bit of randomness set up so that the speed varies each time as if we're doing a download or something like this. So it's great for a visual effect. It's also great for real feedback for things like rotary encoders or touch screens or data that you're streaming in from the internet. Anything you want to display visually with a progress bar, this is a great way to do it. So that is all it takes to use a horizontal progress bar inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.